hey everybody it's your girl yodi i just got done with a farmer's market and i have a stream of consciousness that i want to run by with you uh yeah so we're just going to talk about my thoughts so i saw several african americans black people whatever you want to identify yourself as at the market and there's always this moment where we lock eyes and it's always just beyond the markets beyond all of that a beyond black business like i'll see a, just another black person on the street i'll lock eyes with them and be like hey how's it going and you can always tell like who's secretly woke and who's not or who's down with the click and who's not not saying that they all aren't but you just know like you just get that intuition about it where you'll see them and you're like oh hey there's another one of me hey and they'll either be like what's up or hi you know so i was at the market and i had several glances and several walk bys of my fellow by my fellow african-american and i just sat there and i was like hmm it makes me feel some type of way because i just know how i am and it took me to be raised with a mother who had me in market since i literally could remember i was always in markets every weekend doing markets farmers markets flea markets whatever you could think of we were pretty much doing it and just being raised in that environment knowing how much work time and energy is put into handmade items and handcrafted items as soon as i see someone with my skin tone i'm stopping and i'm buying i don't care if you selling glue i don't care i need glue look I don't need Elmer's. Let me see what you have going on. That's just how I was raised in this environment. So when I see people who kind of just look and be like, oh, or just they don't even have to look. They'll just do a walk by glance at you and walk by. It makes me feel some type of way. And I had a very interesting conversation with one of my mentors. And he was basically telling me that, and I already knew it, but the fact that we had a conversation about it kind of made me feel even more kind of a way um, that black people or African-American people, we do not put our money back into our community or back into black people, African-Americans uh, wallets. We don't as 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 a collective unit, we don't. And not just off of this one market, my mom's my mom's clientele is um white women roughly the age around 35 to early to mid 40s my clientele thus far has been a, a lot of minority people but a lot of uh people who identify as hispanic or latina or latino so those that you know the fact that we're black owned businesses or we have our black owned businesses in a lot of our clientele isn't of our ethnicity isn't of our race or whatever so i just find it interesting what do you guys feel about that how do you feel about that do you think that us as black people were obligated to buy from other black people not not taking that obligation as like obviously like i'm obligated to buy from whatever black person but do you think it's our responsibility to be physically aware where our money is going into and also investing into the black dollar or the black business um i also had another conversation with my mentor and he was telling me because a lot of my art i don't know if you noticed but it's all about people of color women of color at that so he was basically telling me that i needed to kind of tone it down tone the pro-black down because it's going to hinder me and basically my my area of profit because i'm i'm catering to one ethnic group that i won't i'm kind of limiting myself and to me i'm like my stream of, my my thought process is i am not going to cater to any group i'm going to cater to myself i'm going to do what makes drew happy what makes yodi happy i'm going to produce what Ever, I feel like producing. It could be a green-eyed alien. 
with yellow skin. It just depends on what I am in the mood to create. So by him telling me that, I was a little upset. I feel a little jaded to got today, you guys. I'm on some real jaded energy. It's a short video. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I was just packing up and I'm like, I didn't see anybody out there really looking. Oh, by the way, look at my... Look, it's so cold. I got jackets upon jackets. But look at my... This is my Fiesta medal that I have made. I have a bunch of them there on my Etsy shop. I'm going to take some pictures and have them up. No, they're not on my Etsy shop. They will be, though. Um, they're only at the markets. But I'm feeling really down today, you guys. I feel really discouraged. Didn't do too well for this market. The weather's terrible. I was outside in the cold all day. And honestly, I'm just coming back from post-vacation blues. And I'm just... I'm not here for it today. So, I will be back in the next video, hopefully, full of light, energy, and love. Today, Drew is a little Yodi. Yodi is a little uh, surly. <laughs> that we didn't do too well, but it's all a part of the process. Um, I'm currently going through an unfortunate situation where my medicine is no longer working as it should so I'm now having to adjust with that and that affects my the amount of creativity I have and the amount of just bubbliness that helps me sell this stuff but as well as just to create and I'm I've been kind of in a funk so I'm going to work on a lot of stuff uh I sure I sold my first shirt holla yay so you guys you know it's not a total bust but you know sometimes I just need a vent and I'm just gonna vent with y'all from here on out because I need to make new videos or more videos I'm gonna start I'm gonna try I'm gonna really really try to at least boost it up to two to three videos a week I'm not getting enough content out to you guys and honestly I could sit in the car and rant about anything <laughs> My mom calls me the whirlwind when I come in. Because she, she knows I come in, I'm going to be like, ba 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 And then, ba 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 That's all I do. I talk. I'm, I'm a talker. But, alright, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Light and love. I hope if you're having a rough day, like your girl, it's going to get better. Alright? It's just a hiccup in the plan. Don't fret. But, yes. Follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a lot of stuff. A lot of cool stuff. I post some videos from the photo shoot. And I'm excited to, you know, get back to it. So have an awesome weekend, you guys. Bye.